Good evening all. Uh, just an update to my video about the 128x32 OLED and U8G2, the display library that covers a multitude of displays. So there are two types of video that you can make on this sort of thing. One is the highly polished, thoroughly researched, get everything right beforehand and then make some sort of tutorial video which helps people uh, copy what you've done. And the other one is a video where you just show your own progress as you go along, which has entertainment value, but uh, if you make mistakes, of course, they get published to the world. And that's the one I chose. So anyway, I've made a couple of changes. Um, I'm showing the value of millis here so that we get a nice updating display. It looks really good. It's the full 32 pixel high font. Um, and I've speeded it up so it's updating at 200 milliseconds intervals. But let's take a look on the monitor at where I made the mistake in the previous video. And it was here in the library manager. Uh, so if I select just display libraries, um, well, there are a few there. Let me also filter that by U8. So that just shows uh, three libraries. We've got LCD menu. We've got U8G2 by Oliver, that's the one. Now that was version 2.52 that I had installed. I've now got 2.13.5. So my library was well out of date. And uh, this one here, U8G lib, the original one, I've left out of date. So 118 is an old one. If I click more info, it actually then shows you the update button. But until you click more info, you can't see that it's out of date. If you uh, go up here and you select updatable, then yes, it does show libraries that can be updated. So you can see that U8Glib is 118. That can be updated. And that's what caught me out. I didn't realize that I was looking at up-to-date documentation on GitHub but I had an old library, so the two just didn't match up. So let me just make this clear. Uh, U8G2 does appear to be an excellent library, and it has facilities that U8G Lib didn't have. For example, you can uh, use the 8x8 mode to uh, write on-the-fly text to the display. You can only use an 8x8 font, but it means it uses no memory in the microcontroller at all and that's a major advantage. So yeah, U8G2 is a very excellent library and it was just my incompetence, uh, not really understand how, understanding how the library manager works, that led to me making all those mistakes. Just wanted to clear that up because I don't want to offend Ollie Krauss and his rather excellent library. And I can now put either the uh, 128 by 32 well the SSD 1305, no name in there and it will compile because it can now find this uh, constructor in the library because my library is now up to date or the uh, SSD 1306 Univision both of those now result in uh, proper compilation the Univision one actually gives you the proper display the no name one doesn't it's all squished it's half height so that's not the one to use the one to use for this particular OLED is the SSD 1306 Univision, but at least now I'm not getting that um, compilation error. What was it again? Does not name a type. Not getting that anymore. So onwards and forwards to the uh, miniature Ameter project. Oh, that's uh, numbers too big for the display now. Let's restart that. Yes, that's better. Onwards and forwards. Uh, I hope that clears a few things up. Cheerio.